Yeah, we do have a team that uh, actually sits and, and actually talks to the new players in particular, those who are new in the, in the setup, because, you know, history will show you that uh, any player that comes to Chiefs from another club, some of the players might, might be very good players when they are in, in their clubs, but when they come to Chiefs, <laughs> the jersey becomes very heavy because uh, there's a culture behind it and there's also a lot of expectations. So we have now come to, to terms with the fact that uh, any player that comes in must go through that process where he's given exactly what this whole brand is all about and what the man in the street thinks about Kaza Chiefs and what he rep represents because he's no longer representing himself or his own community, but he also represents the, the, the whole Kaza Chiefs family. They, those who are new here will, will now realize what a challenge they, they've undertaken to come to play for Chiefs. So it, it, it will have a, a very, very, a very serious meaning to them playing for this club. So we are going to do everything is poss as possible to try and educate them. And we have a team that is de de going to deal with players individually to, deal, to actually motivate them and actually un make them understand the, the culture and the history where we come from. So there is a, is a challenge on our side to be able to bring them to, 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 to the party because, like I was saying earlier, you know, some players might be good for where they come from, but the atmosphere here is different and the challenges here are much more, more than them. So we, we need to actually help the new players to, 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 to try and strengthen their characters so that they must understand the challenge they're taking because it's a very big challenge and especially coming from our our 12th player on the pitch the supporters because they are the ones who really make this machinery work so we owe it to them and therefore we have to make sure that we we give give these new players support as you rekindle this relationship chairman what would make a good season under the new coach well, hopefully, with the changes that we have made, the acquisitions that we have made, and the path that we undertook, and the, the benefit that we're also getting from our, our youth development, I think uh, we are on the right track, and I think the coach just needs to be given uh, a chance to, to do his job, because uh, as you are well aware, when the announcement was made, was made about <coughs> the appointment of the... Of, uh, or, or, or maybe, should I say, the redeployment of the coach to, to the first team was brought a lot of uh, mixed feelings from a lot of people. But obviously, people, it's easy, talk is cheap, it's easy to, to criticize, but you can only criticize something that has gone through, you know, the test and say this thing is not right. But history will show you that all the coaches that we brought even from abroad none of them had won anything or had any, any success where they came from the only time they made su success was they, when they came to Kaza Chiefs and they found the setup the way it was and obviously the obviously maybe it can also be the question of the timing my, my could have been right but all, all, all in all most of the coaches that we have brought here, we only be became known and became successful because of the setup that we have at Kaza Chiefs. And we hope that uh, Zeki can also be given that opportunity to to really do his job, and then we and see after some time whether we can be able to, you know, to criticize him or anything like that. It is unfortunate that because of social media today, people are at liberty to say anything, anyhow, anywhere. Uh, because of the excitement of social media. But uh, <coughs> the criticism that have been leveled against him have been very, very unfair because he hasn't, he hasn't even, he hadn't even started doing anything uh, with the team. Chairman, there has been a lot of investment, as you can see, glamorous events, investment from all fronts into this club. Does that bring ex extra expectation from you? Yes, it does. I mean, everything we do, we plan for to, to achieve 
success, we achieve uh, our goals. So anything that we do, there will always be expectations. But basically, uh, in the main, expectations is for us to be successful on the pitch. But to be successful on the pitch, there's a lot of other exercise, things that we have to do off the pitch to support the team. And hence, like you see, we always make sure that we bring new innovations and also when we partner, we partner with the right people.